me again with Corel Draw tips and tricks. And just yesterday I made a video on how to do an ink splatter type text distress or whatever you want to call it. And I had two people email me. Well, I had one person email me and then one person leave me a message on one of my videos. Uh, how I got to this part. You know, how did I get the, the uh, ink splatter or the paint splatter in the first place? So I thought I'd just make another video, and I've done several videos on this. But just go to the internet, and t I typed in paint splatter clip art black and white. I'm going to pick this one right here because it's 766 by 720, which is quite large. I'm going to double click on it, and it's going to bring it up into a different screen. And then I'm going to right click on it, and I'm going to copy it. You don't need to save it. I'm going to bring it into Corel. I'm going to right click, and I'm going to paste. Now, Corel puts it in the center of the page. I'm way off the page for some reason. I'm going to hit F4, and there it is way over there. So, now we're just going to type a word, and I'm just going to type the word text. Use all caps. Make it quite large. I like using Arial uh, Black. So when you get to Arial, just go down to Arial Black. It's a good thick font. Sometimes Corel does that. You have to make it clicked on it. But there's my word. I'm going to left click. I left click, no fill. I'm going to right click the mouse outline. I'm going to take our object, and it's really pretty good. Um, but it is pixelized. So now here's a little trick. Let's, uh, or not a little trick, but just a little information. If we resample this, it's at 72 dots per inch. If we reduce it, now let's resample it, and it's at 163 dots per inch because you've reduced the size, but the dots stay the same. But we're going to go ahead and change it for 300 dots. We're going to go to bitmap, convert to bitmap, convert it to black and white. And there's a, the bitmap now. Now I'm going to go to trace bitmap. And if you don't have trace up here on an icon on your version of Krill, you can go to bitmap and right here, outline trace. I use clip art probably 99% of the time. It works for me. Your new copy, your new trace should always be on top or should. As always, I'm going to take a yellow box, take a rectangle, fill it in with yellow, put it in the back of the page just so I don't make sure there's no garbage. Click on our item. Now, we're basically done, but uh, just kind of like look at it and well, we're going to make it a little bit smaller. And then we're going to go Control D and make a duplicate of that. And you notice I have no offset, so it puts it right on top of it. I'm going to go Control D again. Now I'm going to select all three of them with Control D. And basically I'm working. And what we're going to do with this, this one, we're going to mirror it. So they all won't be the same. This time we're going to mirror it the opposite direction. And... Just keep, see, it doesn't matter where it is. Uh, matter of fact, it's kind of cool that it's uh, not, you know, it's not perfect. It's paint splatter. So we're going to leave it like that. We're going to group all this, Control G, or go up to Object and Group. That's going to allow you to power clip it into that text. Go up to Object, Power Clip, Place Inside Frame, put that arrow, and that looks pretty good. Now, with Power Clip, you can adjust that. You can edit it. So you can take your Power Clip and kind of move it around. Kind of, you can still see your text. And then when you're done, you can do that. Now, just click on your text. Double click with your last, your left mouse button and get your pen tool. We're going to make it black. And for the video, we're going to make it 0.1 of an inch. And there is you a there are, there's you a, a paint splatter text. Um, I don't know what you'd ever use it for. Uh, maybe a company that 
is an artist or uh, selling something that's painted. And um, anyway, I hope that answered their questions and thank you for watching.